Welcome to Acme Collins School YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about APGDCA course. APGDCA stands for Advanced Postgraduate Diploma in Computer Application. Let's move to the next slide to know what is APGDCA. APGDCA is the term that stands for Advanced Postgraduate Diploma in Computer Application. It is one year course, but can be completed earlier than its maximum duration by RPL method. The course covers different topics from the field of computer science. Let's talk about its syllabus onto the next slide. You are learning five major points in the APGDCA course, which you can go through while reading each point or its subpoints. As you can see in the syllabus, the first topic is Fundamentals of Information Technology. And second, Programming. Third, Soft Skills. Fourth, Foundation of Computer Programming, Advanced Communication Skills, Basic Financial Management, Database Management Systems, Operating System. Fifth, Object-Oriented Programming, Software Engineering, Computer Networks, Data Structure web programming. Let's move on to the next and try to understand the first topic's basic. So here, you will know the fundamental of information technology. We are not covering a full syllabus here, but we are trying to tell you the basic information of syllabus so that you can be familiar with it. Let's understand what is information technology. The answer is information technology, IT, is the use of any computers, storage, networking, and other physical devices, infrastructure, and processes to create, process, store, secure, and exchange all forms of electronic data. The commercial use of IT encompasses both computer technology and telecommunications. Next, what is programming? The answer is programming is the process of creating a set of instructions that tell a computer how to perform a task. Programming can be done using a variety of computer programming languages, such as JavaScript, Python, and C++. Next, you will be learning three major applications in this module that are first MS Word, second MS Excel, and third MS PowerPoint. Next, the fourth module has five books. First, Foundations of Computer Programming. Second, Advanced Communication Skills. Third, Basic Financial Management. Fourth, Database Management Systems. Fifth, Operating System. While reading each book individually, you will be able to understand each concepts better. Next, let's talk about another five major topics that you are going to learn in this course are. First, Object-Oriented Programming. Second, Software Engineering. Third, Computer Networks. Fourth, data structure. Fifth, web programming. Next. The duration of this course is one year. Let's move the next slide to know about its certification and process to obtain. So, here we are talking about certification. Yes, you heard the right word certification. You must be little worry about knowing the process of getting a certificate, and it also very important for everyone. You are able to take certification just after taking an online exam with a score of 50% minimum. There is not any negative marking in the course. So it becomes little easy for everyone to hold a certificate. And second, you are getting certificate by RPL that stands for recognition of prior learning, which means you can get certificate without completing a whole course by just taking an online exam.